In the last video, I told you that Bitcoin was the first digital asset generated from the decentralized ledger known as the blockchain. The process by which these coins are introduced into the ledger is known as mining, but we will talk about that in a later class. For now, let's talk about the key concept of decentralization. Before Bitcoin, most financial transactions had to go through a trusted central third party. Now what that means is, all transactions from person A to person B will go through the servers of a bank or corporation before being passed on to the other party, usually after the company takes a massive fee out of it. Example of that is PayPal. If you wanted to send money through PayPal, you actually have to log on to the PayPal servers and money is transferred to the different accounts within the PayPal infrastructure. In this example, PayPal is the trusted third party, and it has a centralized database or ledger that it uses to keep track of the transactions. We use PayPal because we trust them, and we trust that they will store and protect our money and send the right amounts when we ask. In a decentralized ledger, there is no single trusted third party. Instead, a large number of nodes or peers come to a consensus on each transaction that takes place. This is the key technology of Bitcoin. When a Bitcoin transaction is made, it does not go through one single third party. Instead, different computers on the Bitcoin network that are running specialized software will check that transaction for accuracy and completeness. If the transaction is not valid for any reason, it will be tossed. If not, they will add that transaction into a block of other approved transactions. And these blocks are eventually added onto the blockchain. Now, how the network determines which block will be added to the blockchain will be discussed in the next episode. But for now, all you need to understand is that Bitcoin uses a decentralized ledger, which means no one single entity controls Bitcoin. Transactions are verified and approved in a peer-to-peer -peer manner by different computers on the network running specialized software. And anybody can download and run this software. It's available to everybody.